My name is David Proud and I'm the writer and producer on Wayfaring. And I've been an actor for about seven years and I've also in that time uh, been writing and producing. Um, and for me it's all about storytelling and, and finding the nice stories to tell. And sometimes those stories that I tell are, are my stories through writing and producing and sometimes I get approached as an actor to, to bring somebody else's story to life. This team we put together is actually um, really cool. I've worked with Tim uh, a long time on various different projects and it's just always a joy. And um, for me, it's, it's kind of nice to, to give Tim a, a project and an idea and let him creatively really run with it. And um, everything visually always looks stunning and, um, and the end product is always something I'm very, very proud of. So I'm, I'm very interested to see um, with Wayfaring um, how we can capture the essence of Europe in, in this video. Kelvin uh, joined us on one of the projects that I did with Tim and um, he, he was just really fun. Um, he, him, um, Kelvin and Tim have a really good dynamic when they're working together. They seem to uh, really work well. Um, so as a, as a team, when you're trying to film something in Europe and we're going to kind of go away and, and, and to try and capture it and to also be quite mobile and agile so that we can travel quite a bit. Um, Kelvin is a really good addition um, because whatever Tim needs is kind of there and, and they work really well together and as a small team uh, they're quite unstoppable really. Um, <laughs> also I, if I'm going to steal Tim to go away and film in Europe I don't think I can do that without taking Kelvin. I think I might get some like hate mail. There's a little bit of a bromance going between them um, and it's really nice. Both their girlfriends have no idea, they don't understand this dynamic but they are um, they're really, really, really good friends and um, and it's it's really great. It's just they, they are like two peas in a pod. So um, you, you wouldn't take one without the other. Uh, Sam is a lovely actress who I've known for many years and she's also a really good writer. Um, Sam uh, and I did a couple of plays last year together, uh, which was really, really great. And it was the first thing that, um, even though we'd known each other for a long time, we kind of worked together um, quite closely. And I just really enjoyed every minute of it. And um, she's a really dynamic, young, versatile actress. And also, um, she speaks fluent French as well, which is going to come in handy if we're filming in Europe. Um, so for me, there, there wasn't kind of, it was a, um, as soon as this project came to mind, like Sam, Sam was immediately there. And I think she's going to be a brilliant asset to the team. Wayfaring. Um, I have to admit, that the title came up mainly because I'd heard the name, but I didn't quite know what it meant, which is a, a little bit odd um, for a word to be kind of out there that um, I, I really don't know the meaning of. Um, so when I was looking up travel and, and, and just trying to kind of get my head around what travel is and what it means to people, I was doing a bit of research and this, this word came up and it, it just kind of struck a chord really that, you know, it's it's the it's journeys and it's it's you know it's it seemed to encapsulate everything we were trying to say with this film i'm one of these songs that um <laughs> my immediate um panic button is to run away <laughs> somewhere so i i quite like it i'm one of these people that if i if something happens i kind of go I, I need to just get away just um you know get some perspective and and chill out and recharge and and kind of um and come back stronger and and ready to kind of fight again and um so for me travel in one way resets you as a human and you if there's things that in your everyday life are kind of missing or you're not quite you can't get a good handle on it to step away from things and and be able to get perspective and come back refreshed and it is is brilliant and i think one of the reasons why that works so well is that you discover a lot about yourself when you travel. Uh, I think you discover when you're looking at different cultures and different people and a different slice of life, you realize like your place in the whole scheme of life is very, very small, you know. So that also makes any problems you've got kind of <laughs> reduced down as well. So it all becomes a little bit more manageable. And so to, to go away and, and, and find something new about yourself and uh, discover you know strengths or and tastes and 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 things that you like that you didn't really realize or you hadn't picked up on i think is really great and 
if, if you are kind of a very philosophical guy and I look at life as this like long journey and it's just a journey full of memories um, so when we go away we make some really great memories I don't think there's not a time where I've gone on holiday or, or gone traveling where I, I can't remember it and remember who I was there with and and you know the cafes and, and you go back to a, a place that you've been before so like you go to Paris and you go oh there used to be this cafe down this road and you you end up going down that road and it's still there and you have a coffee and, you know it it's kind of part of you almost imprints on the place and and it, it leaves its mark on you and it's yeah it's just it really it feeds the soul i think um so life is all about the memories we make and in europe there's the ability to make some lovely lovely lifelong memories london the actual city itself at night when you see it is so still and so quiet um and it's full of old buildings and new just completely meshing together um, it's got history and it's also got culture and it's got, you know, it's just a, a big mixing pot of a lot of things. And for me, it's it's home. You know, I, I go across one of the bridges in London and I just, you know, I, I, I feel at home. Um, but during the day, com completely different vibe. During the day, it's just full of people that are an endless tide um, going to work and coming back from work. And there's always people on the go and there's always... There's lots of people everywhere, and everyone's kind of hustle and bustle, and um, and it goes. You know, if you did the time lapse in London, you, you could see the different times it goes, and then it goes to a quite nice still during the night, and then it back again. So um, it's it's a lovely, vibrant place, um, but it can also at some points be lonely as well. I think that um, there are people that live and work in London that are kind of cocooned in their own little world, and. That's nothing to do with the city. That's just you know life, and um, they kind of hustle and bustle, and they probably go to and from work without even saying anything to anybody and or smiling. So it's with wayfaring. Um, it just struck me as you know you can have these two people in London that are living the same life, just like five seconds behind each other, that are always constantly in the same place but at a different time, and and the crossovers and you know whereas when they actually step away from that when they step away from the hustle and the bustle and the madness of life a little bit and they, they kind of reset they kind of find each other then um so it is it's a fantastic place to be um and there's different sides of london there's Everyone, like, because I'm an actor, I see, I visit the same kind of places, so it always amazes me when I bump into somebody I know in town, and, you know, you think out of all of the, you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people that are going around town to bump into somebody you know, but it's because I'm in my particular part of London, which is certain places that actors kind of normally hang out, and if you're an artist, there'll be other different places, and so there's a different London for everybody, which is um, great, but when it all comes together, it's like a... If you imagine an orchestra all playing like different song at a different time, like it's just madness. But um, if you look at each section of an orchestra, like you know the brass bit, and you know when you get them to play individually, it's it's beautiful. So um, it's just when it all kind of comes together in London, it's um, yeah, it's it's loud. <laughs> the opportunity to do Euro shorts um, for me is is great. I. I've made some lovely projects I'm really, really proud of. Um, and this, for me, would be a great opportunity to take that um, that same team and that same working dynamic and, and see what the rest of Europe is like through the lens of, of our cameras. And um, um, for me, it's about expanding the, the type of works that me and Tim have actually already done. And... Um, and I'm quite a hippie, so I quite like capturing the essence of something. So I'm very excited, um, if given the opportunity, to just see what what essence Europe has on this journey that we do and, and the path that it takes us and uh, by filming this and, and the beautiful things that we can actually capture on camera. I think that somebody should choose us uh, for the project because we are an incredibly small team, but we're a very efficient team. Um, there's only people on this team that need to be there, and we all are professionals at what we do. Um, 
So joined together, um, we've got a very, very strong team. Also, the idea in the pitch, I think, is... Um, I try and look at it from the audience point of view. Would I want to watch this, this, uh, this short film? And yes, I definitely would. You know, it's got a lot in there. You, you've got this story of two people, but then you've also got this story of, of journeys itself. And I think it will make people reflect on their own journeys and also um, get to see a bit of Europe and, and probably sit back and appreciate that Europe as a place, you know, a lot of people don't count Europe as like a going on a like proper, proper holiday, you know, which is insane. They uh, kind of think they have to go further afield to get that kind of real tra travelling kind of vibe. But there's so much in Europe that's just amazing and it's, it's right there, it's on our doorstep. And, you know, you can go and have a weekend here and a weekend there. So, um, yeah, so to capture the essence of Europe and remind people that it's right there uh, for them to see would be great.